in and see if we can get a quick photo with this yeah. bloody team sheet. How are you going to get it? Yeah. I've got the girls one already. Hey, mate. That's the last one. Oh, this one? Oh, yeah, that's one. Just grab a quick photo of that. Thank you. Awesome. All good, eh? Sorry, mate. Sorry, excuse me. And uh, folks, here we go. We're just uh, ducking back up. So, a bit of heavy breathing, racing up the stairs, grabbing our team sheets for you. For this matchup, what a great game we've got coming up to you here. Thugger United taking on our uh, Thugger Warriors, apologies, taking on Arab United. And uh, the boys hailing all the way north and side by the Thugger Warriors. Taking on the counterparts here in Arab United. And this is uh, a good crowd, good car all around. And the first penalty will go to Arab United. Strong carnivals from both of these sides so far. Heavy on the attack early here, Arab United. Whoa, a slip through one there. Just glances off the shoulder. 20 metres out now, Arab United. Centre field, Deontre Louis. Out the back to Fraser. Fraser to Gabuma. Slips out of one, out of two. Elusive. But can't get out of that one. So first look on field one here of the Thugger Warriors this weekend. Winner goes through to the grand final that we'll see this evening at 5 p.m. And they survive the first attacking raid, the Thugger Warriors. I think the contact is going to be a highlight of this one. And already, might have an error here, but the boys come together. It's just exchanging, uh, exchanging numbers. And the penalty that drags Thugger Warriors into Arab United's half for the first time. Oh, 
should be a close game too, Rob, with that team playing good footy at the moment. Certainly will be two of the heavyweights here, and we're down to the last four, so I suppose there's four heavyweights that are involved, but this two sides here, and Ado Wyunga, the uh, 5'8", Premiership winning 5'8", for brothers locally here in town, uh, former town, Rugby League Townsville Doc, uh, Dr. Rod Ward medal winner of the Player of the Year, so... There's a class right across. Shawnee Noni, you'll see out there as well. A uh, cup store, but away they go, Thugger. And here we go. It's the first, uh, first time in a long time we've seen Arab with uh, under a little bit of duress. We're going to really find out here, I think, uh, look, you don't want to take anything away from the other two sides that are over there. Well, Palm Island, I suppose, are over there as well, and they have been good. But, geez, I tell you, this um, we could be looking at the winner here. You think the winner of this game is the winner of the final? I am uh, none from ten, so I wouldn't be punting on it, but <laughs> I'm going out on a limb. So, will you pick it? Oh, Arab there. I think, yeah, well, I'm not known to be a favourite backer. And I, I'm not saying they would be favourites, but Arab, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Look, as long as Addo doesn't listen to this one back, yep. And now Arab over halfway with Julian Christian looking to link to the left. Swarming defence. This is going to be a fast-paced game, I think. Really felt uh, the pace pick up already in this one. Oh, good contact. And a penalty is blown here. And the flags of Arab United go up. They certainly brought a lot of colour to the carnival. So Arab United only got hot on the attack. Full set of six here. Oh. Holding strong at the moment. No, Thugger Warriors, their line is holding together at the moment now. Gabuma, he can't find a way through. Yeah, just looking to recruit some troops out to the left there, but uh, they've been strong defensively so far, the Thugger Warriors. They're going to be hard to break down. Fraser plays out the back to Louis. And our man are now looking to open his account early, but just couldn't quite uh, latch onto that one. Just got a player down here is a bit of concern for. Might uh, take an opportunity while they... Uh, no, he's going to get back to his feet, is he? Yeah, Davin Crampton, that is, I think. As Joel Marama makes his way onto the field. And uh, Nelson Gaboomer, the 25. Oh, well, he's back to his feet, but he's going to be assisted off the field. That's big news. Davin Crampton there, the 13. He uh, had a big part to play in their quarterfinal victory this morning. Had a... Uh, Fantastic story, Davin, uh, coming down through Normanton and the, the Gulf region, making it all the way through to the Pride and then in and around the Cowboys systems, the Queensland Cup, uh, through an NQ United side, actually, which was the lower tier representative from uh, regional, remote areas footy that the QRL used to run. And making his way all the way from out there and then having a storied career with the Pride, and winning a host plus cup. But here we go, the Warriors. Oh, we tried to milk one. 
And will be Yaza Stevens there. So the Warriors now up over the halfway. Back to the right now through Nona. Still going, good run, solid run through the centre. Made another 12 metres. Renfrey. On the last. Just got tangled up now, Nona. One of the best kicking games in North Queensland, Sean Nona. And Aggie Gaboomer goes to ground. Well played there. He knew he had to find the ground because there was plenty of Warriors defenders around. Oh, that's all. Now, I know we've got an injury here. There's a bit of concern. It was uh, and the jersey numbers. I'm not sure if they're spot on, but. Will be an exhibition game held between the Oh, great coming together of community there. Yeah, so the exhibition game at 2 o'clock and then we get into the first of our finals. We've three. got our oh. team list through. Uh, I've seen the team lists are in to the, yeah, so we'll to the ladies' game. So we'll go through the team list. So Bigger than Ben Hirsch, she'll be. Yeah, it'll be a big afternoon. And away down the left. Oh, they enjoy it. That might have been uh, Carl Anderson, I think, his first foray into the match. And you saw him, uh, he was pointing our mate in the direction of the trial line, but I don't think he needed to give him any directions. The big fella knew exactly where he was going. Once I heard what was on the opposite team, he said, Eric United, I've just gone on sports bet and had a lazy bet, and I'll tell you what, you would stop a train. I wondered what you were doing. I wondered what you were doing with the phone of the year there, and then I realised it was the bookie on the line. What the sort of a pun I ring him on a Saturday morning and I say, well, what do you like? And he says, race six, number four, and I just put a big line for it. Go, Some people give out scratchings and uh, I just, <laughs> it's as good as a scratching. You can just take it out, take it out of your multiples. So to all the uh, supporters, you put the Rob on board. I apologise wholeheartedly. Yeah, uh, if you can win with him on, you will win the different finals. A lot of friends are... Uh, in and around the Arab side. Well, I feel that uh, this has got plenty more le left in it, this one. It's your favourite thing, school board pressure. Both sides well supported, so this uh, you'll feel the energy build here. Yeah, it's still and the Torres Strait will be well represented in the grand final all the way with uh, the two sides that we've got through here. Um, the boys from Thugger hailing from Saibai. Well done, Jesse from Ari Anderson there. And then we've got the Arab boys. It's been a whole lot of carnival uh, having Arab and the colour and, every, and the uh, energy they bring. Well supported. Fantastic supporters too. Always positive and well, it's been great walking around here today, and even yesterday, the colour and the vibe. Yeah, is there anything better? The vibe, it's the vibe. Anything better than, than coming down here. You've got colour everywhere, you've got people enjoying it, families are together. Oh, hang on, Renfrey. Yeah. Families underneath the tents, enjoying time together, watching rugby league. Yeah, it's, it's great to see them, uh, even now, 
Homicide Beach was at the flag flowing at the front of the green stain The United Flags and the Black City followed them down there. And they've been there, they've been there all weekend. All weekend. When the team comes together, they're out there. Um, ah, exceptional. How good's rugby league? Love the game. Now away, Arab United looking to answer back. And it's Wyanger and Anderson over there that wrap up. The number four. So Bradley Stephen. Now, um, well, there's a big, uh, I think there's a big story here for, oh, as he slices through, we'll hold on that, because Eric United. Joshua Charlie has cut through what looked almost an impenetrable. The Warriors defense, there really wasn't a lot doing. That might be Addo, is it? Uh, yep. It's to get to his feet. Julian Christian going to check on him. But um, I was going to say the uh, story we might have here is that Khan Wang, the uh, strike centre for Arab United, we saw him come off yesterday when he had a kick for goal and then clutched at a knee after the kick, came to the sideline. Now, he is named, but we didn't see him take part this morning. And he's not out there at the moment, so that's a big story for Arab United. Doing it without Kanawa, he uh, was successful with GH. Uh, United down in Mackay last week, victors of the Mackay Carnival. So, uh, but it certainly hasn't held them back. United, straight back. Straight back. And now it's going to be locked up so... You talk about pressure, Arab is one of those sides who is constantly in the game. So you can never, you don't really get too much time to, to switch off or you've got to be on all the time because they're continuously asking questions. Fraser. Speaking of six apiece, it's getting to about that time. Six piece bucket wouldn't go astray. Six, just six fingers, or you go on the whole log. If anybody's there and wants to Uber Eats, the, the big fella's going down. The big fella, he's battling through. Carnival footy, the action never stops. Doing a great job of sticking with us, mate, as you're fading away. I can see it. <laughs> Give the man a Snickers. So here we go. Arab United. Nelson Gabuma. Or is it the 24? Solomon Fayoud. He has a Stephen over the top. I think the jersey numbers might be slightly off there. They've got 30 listed as a Tyrone Gun James, but I feel like that could be Stevens. Trying to milk a penalty there, but you might buy it. Yeah, Gaboomer and uh, oh, on young Gaboomer. Well, he's not as young, but uh, he's a, a only a slight man, Gaboomer. It happens a lot, but I tell you what, both the boys, Maddie and Nagy Gaboomer, there, you've never seen them stay down. They bounce straight back to their feet and they're straight back in the action. And they do wear some shots, the boys. And, and they should be in Hollywood. <laughs> Look good, feel good, should have been in Hollywood. And away we go, Deontre Louis. And a couple of the boys say, Yaz Stevens and the Gaboomer boys were uh, part of the su successful Goomabow Raiders. Uh, you would have seen on Blue Collar Sports up there at the Island of Origin. But here we are, six all. Six minutes remaining here in the first half. Arab United, hot on the attack, slow play the ball. Christian. Twenty-eight there, but we don't have a twenty-eight listed. Apologies. Now Fraser. Oh, jeez. As they come back to the middle. Now here he is, Gaboomer, trying to exploit some defenders back beyond the ruck. Couldn't get him. 
Satrick now. Skips out of one. They've got an opportunity, Satrick. And they're in again. Well, Graham, I think you mentioned it uh, this morning when we saw Arab United and their small men coming into the game the longer it went on. And right there, you saw Gabuma. He was dancing. He found Satrick. Satrick was able to exploit them back and behind the ruck. And then Stanley and now he's a, he's a freak. He's a freak, Stanley, over there. Gets over the line. But... Uh, and like the Warriors scored first, but now United went bang, bang. They scored two tries and, and the crowd now is starting to come Brought the crowd the into it. Now they bring the crowd in. And, um, yeah, so the Warriors, they're still in. They're still in this game. But, um, like I said earlier today, they've got their strike players this team. I, I really like this side because of those little men. Well balanced. Yeah, they're very well balanced and they just snip around, they know and they wait for those big blokes who are yeah. starting to get tired and the fatigue and they start to get a bit lazy and then these little fellas they go and have a field day and, and so quickly they can take oh, it away from you. Yeah, they're there and they're gone. And uh, a lot of those boys they get they get uh, spoken about but it's a great forward pack. It's, you talk about a well balanced we had Davin Cramp we mentioned earlier. But uh, Josh Menay, and we saw Josh Menay playing front row back again today. He went to the centres yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Raheem Alder, uh, Tibia yeah. Steven playing in the back row. Look, that forward pack, it just they just do their job. They, they defend and they give those boys the opportunity. They lay that platform yeah. that allows those little men to, to get themselves involved. This little fullback, he's going to play a Matty big Gaboom. part. If this team makes the grand final... Waved away there. The player, I reckon, can win you the grand final. Oh, early crow. So fast. He'll be up there in uh, player of the carnival standings. We, we generally, I generally do like to give out the uh, the blue collar, the blue collar award, and that's for the, the person who just does the gritty stuff. Sometimes it goes unnoticed, but he's our blue collar legend. So we the blue collar legend of the final, and we'll, um, they will win a, a blue collar sports shirt. That's uh, we like that. Oh, now that is a collision. Mene, the boys. We'll judge that in the final. But there's been so many good players over the tunnel. Consistent. Like Kafusi, I bought Kafusi. Oh, power of work. He's not even in the final. He won't make the final, but he was good. I thought he was solid. And there's been a lot of teams you had. Young Satrick, mate. He's been busy, the 14. And oh, and now. Now, now all my scores try us for fun out there, Stanley and now. The two. Well, he's lightning fast. I've still got him up there. He's in my top three, at least the top three, for fastest men here. They might have two of the three in this side here, as we spoke about. Matty Gaboomer. Got Aggie Gaboomer, his brother here. The Jimmy the Jet, Ray Zalen Pearson also. We'll see who's playing for Palmer Island on the other side there at the moment. So Jimmy the Jet in action on uh, field two. And I can tell you that... On the field two, Burdekin Delta. Burdekin Delta, 16 points to 10, leading the Palm Island Barracudas green. And a penalty, so this will help. Quick, quick tap and they're away. No, they he doesn't want back. it. So he allowed it, the ref, and then he said, no, nah, come back. I'll just let you get a couple of metres and we'll throw you back. Yeah, away they go. The Warriors. 12 metres out. Will go taken down. Just to the left of the uprights as they now yeah, Stephen. And an offload. And he slices through. That's uh Bagizi Warriga. The Warriors, they strike back. And just shy of two minutes ago in the first half. The Warriors cross over. And now it is locked up at 10 apiece, kick to come. Stevens there, Big Yaz, and he just backed into a tackle, had the arms free and then slicing through. But another quick answer. This feels like one of those games, I feel, Graham. It's going to go back and forward. Rob, the finals are going to be – they're going to be close games. There's no going to be any blowout scores no. in these finals. It's going to be – could be golden point. So after uh, the full – 
90 minutes. Oh, 50 at the moment, yeah, 50, and plus, well, right, we could go 90, the rate this man's going. Yeah, it's all right, go to 90, but if it's 50, you go to five minutes each half, and then go. And ball. then we'll be going for a winner. Yeah, we'll have to go until we get a winner, yep. Yeah. Now, Nona lines this up. Well, if you had a bloke kicking for your life, Sean Nona would be in the, that conversation. And, and there it is. It. Well, I'll take that one. That's on one from 12 this weekend. So the worry is you go into the shed at half time with that two point lead. They lead 12 in the rest United 10 with only 28 seconds left on the clock. That'll fly up in the air, 20 seconds. It's not beyond there being more points. Oh, geez, I tell you, you've got to be willing off these kickoffs. Oh, great shot. Little Gabe Satrick straight under the ball. Oh, this has got plenty left in it, this one. Both of these sides. Oh, Satrick again over the top and then underneath. Oh, the boys. Oh, it's too hot for the boys to be out there and getting too rustled up. I reckon they'll be looking for the waters. Evenly poised, 12 points to 10. Thugger Warriors lead Arab United. What a great first half. What a great first half of football. And still. Both teams. You still can't call a winner yet in this one. They're going shot for shot. And uh, I liked at the end there, it's both sides came off. There's a bit of chat, and Ado Wanger, he uh, doesn't mind chatting himself. He's, he's good for it. And Julian Christian, a few of the boys just exchanging words, but just showing how much, like, they're right in this, both sides. And, and the one is, they'll go in the shed with that two point lead, so that will give them a big boost off for them. But this, the Rook United, they're a good side. They are. Like, and, and like those little men, um, so they, they're going to stay in the room. We might take a short break there, folks, and uh, we'll be back with you with our second half coverage here, and we'll find out who is going on to the grand final of the Davco Farming Cup.
And here we go. Yeah, an opportunity to catch your breath, get a quick sip of water, and get ready for this second half of action. But both of these teams, plenty to play for. The spot in the 37th Bindle Sharks All Blacks Grand Final. The Davco Farming Cup. Great supporter of this carnival. Long term supporter has been of the Bindle Sharks and, and a lot of the work that they do. Bindle Sharks, a lot of people are. Uh, if you're watching on home, they do a lot of work in community as well, not just the carnival, uh, a lot of stuff behind the scenes that they do and, and, and aiding a lot of teams that travel away for carnivals. And uh, and a lot of that stuff is brought on with the support that they get from places like Babco Farming and uh, Bravis and the state government that came on board as well at, uh, around facilities and, and stuff that they've worked there. So, And also, to uh, that's their platinum sponsors, but all their silver sponsors as well that they have, which you'll see coming up on your screen throughout our coverage. They all make it... Uh, this carnival possible. Now there's a knock on here, and which way is he going to point his arm? And the Cougar Warriors, they have got it. They were remonstrating with him for a second there, and I thought he might have been pointing the other way, the way they were. But they might have been discussing who has the best fishing chips as well, Big Mark. Yes, yes. That's it, we got it. That's an official chip. We'll be back before the action. So, uh, yeah, you know, give Tobin the ring, let him know the big mouth's coming. They better get a couple of pieces of Spanish Mac on the grill. But uh, away, Thugger United now inside the first minute of play, and they're hot on the attack. Just set just to the right of the uprights. They go back to Nona on the right. He plays out the back to Pomari Anderson. Great line. Slams it down. First point. Just a long way from our position. Let me... Uh... And he has... And the Warriors strike early in the second half. Going in the corner, and it is now 16-10. Victor comes. Yeah, Jason Mosby, that is the 14. Plenty of support here. Yeah, the punters are starting to get involved now. They know that this is it. The winner goes into the final. Well, they had last points and they've got first points of the second half here. So, uh, a I'm calling it in. He's in. He'll hit him as sweet as anybody. Shawnee Nona. It looks good. There it is. This is the last of our semi-finals, and the winner will go straight into the big dance. And that game, Robert, 4 o'clock? Uh, 5 o'clock, this one will be, so 4 o'clock. 3 o'clock for our uh, ladies. The scores are locked up as a draw at full time. There'll be extra time played. That is, if scores are locked up at full time, there will be extra time played. Deep kick. And uh, as they say that, just letting everybody know, if scores are locked up, there'll be extra time. Over on field two, I can tell you that they are all locked up. The Burdick and Delta Dolphins, 16, playing Palm Island Barracudas Green, 16. How long to go? Uh, so they're 10 minutes in over there. So now it's... You know, Christian it's, away. The strike back. They're only 12 metres out. Crampton, he's come back. Good to see. So he had a bit of concern for a lower leg injury, but... Now, DeAndre Louis. With the Warriors, the defence is solid. Good scramble on defence. United, they go. Louis. Fraser. 
Last tackle, got plenty of attention. Oh, hang on. Well done, good call. Touch judge right on the spot. Jeez. Talk about Freddie Mercury under pressure. It's all happening here. Marshall the Hudson. They lead only by eight. Still not enough. No, they're certainly not. Not with the uh, electric speed that the Arab United backline possesses. Oh, great carry. We're begging for a penalty. It doesn't come. Namumbo the, the nine. Wyanger from inside. He's 40. And it's out on the fall. Pressure back on his team with that kick going out on the full. So now United, they get the ball and they're only 35 out. Jeez, it's a high quality game of rugby league, this. Both sides. As Joel Maramania takes it 25 right, metres out. Metres. Christian at dummy half. But the Warriors, they muscle up their good defence. Mills the there. Taking 20 metres out. Louis. Fraser again. They come the right edge. Fraser backing up. Oh, he's got it. Ooh. And if anybody has uh, Daniel or sure it was Dan, uh, if you've got Daniel's number, you just heard that, the announcement, they're looking for Daniel to ring home, Daniel Guy. So if anybody's listening in and has, a, has, a, has his number, give him a text and let him know they're just chasing him. So Warriors defence, solid. They withstood a couple of uh, good attacking raids there from Area United. United threw a lot at them, but they get up to the challenge and now they run it out and... And this is by eight points, and they know that they've got the lead. So they had a very tough outing. The uh, Arab United side too. Like even though the scoreline got out to twenty at the end, it was quite a physical matchup in their quarterfinal. Oh, oh jeepers! You know, anything below the eyebrows is play on. Thought it, all of a sudden we might have gone into black and white. It's, uh, we were back in the back in the eighties. Yeah, it was uh, well done to the young man who he sort of he took it and he, and he carried on. And the touchy didn't see it. That's high, and it's all oh, they just nobody wanted it now. Aggie Kabuma. Well, if he gets out the other side, there could be trouble. He just. They're never out of it, are they, Herb? They're one line break away from points. So now they're on the attack here. It would be really dangerous. Oh, look at him. He's going to have to pull himself. He wanted to put him in the third row. Josh Manet there, good metres. Jeez, it's a high tempo we're playing at in this one. We just don't have uh, 27 for you with Arab United. Apologies, folks. Satrick now at dummy half. And he's sliding to his feet. Marama. On the line. 14 now from the line. Louis on the show. Grubber. Oh. Very well weighted. That was beautiful. And now they get another go. Short that in goal. Beautiful. Beautiful kick, well rounded. It's a short in goal here too, so it had to be perfect. United have a chance. Just put a bit more pressure on the Warriors, but the Warriors have been solid. 
It's got that feeling, I think, that uh, every night now they've been down here for a couple of sets. Yeah, I know, and the, there's no hurry to kick this and trying to suck them in. Letting the boys get a breath. So here we go, it's a good... Oh, jeez, it's a wobbly floater. And here comes that man, it's uh, Mene. He's a... Uh... Oh, they're calling. You just got to try and keep their head in the game here. 15 minutes remaining in this one. 18 points to 10. In the Thugger Warriors' favour. So you're 9, 12 out. Oh, and again the last pass. With 15 minutes remaining in this matchup, if you're watching on at home, share the link out, text your neighbour, text your grade three teacher, text your doctor, text the milkman and let them know they need to tune in because this is going to be a cracking last 15 minutes of rugby league. Warriors lead by eight. Now United Hall. They pack the scrum, they're 10 out. But it's a Warriors ball. So the Warriors, they've been solid, but their defence has been solid. So now the Warriors, they run it out there on the try line. Could have been a penalty there. He was all over now him. Mosby, the try scorer. So now the Warriors. They're not scared to throw the ball around. Still 16 all over on field two. The Burdekin Delta Dolphins taking on Palm Island. Barracuda's green. Oh, juggles it, holds it. So both matches here. Oh, against the attacking team here. Oh, well, I don't want to invite them back in, Eric. And that's probably a silly one. And that's a con that's one of those ones you can control. You know what I mean? Like yeah, they're... ten meters out. Ten meters out. I'll go on the attack. United. Bradley Stephen. Where is this try going to come from for Arab? To get them back in this one. Great footwork. Now he stands. Can't find an offload. And he had uh, Raheem Uda. He was hanging there for the foot. He couldn't get it. Now he's going to be on the inside shoulder here as Crampton shows Once both again, ways. Defense solid. Trying to milk a penalty. We couldn't buy into it. Oh. Falling, but Fraser Stephen. But once again, the Warriors are up to it. This last. is the last three out. Well, that confidence has got to be building here if you're on the Warriors. And now, that defense they just keep turning them away. And now, what I'm seeing. That's what's starting to creep in. They know there's only, I know there's still 11 minutes, but they trail by eight. Just, uh, it is a little bit frantic. They, they lost their way in the middle of that set there, Arab, and it's uncharacteristic of what we've seen from them. But that's what that's what it does, scoreboard pressure. Well, that's short and high. And Stephen secures it. 13 metres out. Yeah, back to the post. They look to go Arab. They're set deep to the left. Julian Christian out the back. Buda goes himself. He can't find a crack in the defence. Louis now. Eight metres out and just missing their assignments there. Starting to see. 
Yeah, Gabuma tries to slip under a couple. United. Christian now drops it again. And Anderson goes to ground. Well done, Carl Anderson. Oh, and the rushing defence from the Arab United. The veteran Davin Crampton, he saw the opportunity and said, right, we've got to lift here, boys. But they just they keep getting repeat sets. I'll tell you what, though, if they do get over, they're a chance at two because they've had to do a lot of defending with Thugger Warriors. Well, that's about three sets now. So they're, they're, the boys are starting to suck him in. There's a lot of hands on hips. I took this. I've just seen him. If you get it over the halfway, if you can, don't go short. But he looks like he's going to go short. He does. Well, Anderson, he's on to this. Oh, wow. Well, Carl and Anderson, a premiership winner. Premiership winner with the 2015 in Twitch Jets when the, the uh, they first brought, the Walker brothers brought the short kickoff to us. So he is a proponent of that. So that was the man they were looking for. He knew exactly where it needed to be, Carlin. What a year, 2015. Oh, good defence. And I'm a Jets you know, get supporter. But I wasn't a big fan of it because it didn't always come off. Because they used to do it all the time from the halfway. Like, Certainly. And they might get three out of ten. Um, but now all the NRL teams, they are doing the short kick. They are. With results. Christian down the short side. Safe again for Mari Anderson. Satrick. Well, they're asking for the shoulder charge penalty, and they do get it. Yeah. It's a funny one, that one. Like, uh, it's a, it's a... They've weathered a storm out of Arab United. They've thrown everything and the kitchen sink. Three or four sets there that they had they down there. The Scoreboard pressure. Warriors, they just got to keep calm head, play footy, and they will go into the final. They lead by eight. You just seen him in a place we probably haven't seen him there of United, so they had three or four sets, but just the time couldn't quite get the timing right. The defensive pressure of Thugga Warriors are just throwing them out, out of whack. But they'll oh. points here, and it gets very, very hard for Arab United. They lead by eight. So the Warriors, they'll go for touch. Well, the Wiley veteran, Sean Ona, puts them into a corner. They've got to force an error here, Arab United, because they've got to score twice. Oh, and now here's an opportunity. Well, this might be Gun James. Oh, it's a big call, but uh, Paul 
apologies if uh, just looking across the Thugger Warriors, potentially one or two of the numbers might be a little off. So if we have, uh, we apologise, we are running off the team sheet that we get out of the tents, uh, the main scoring tent down here. Uh, so if we have um, Arid there, but uh, we'll do our best as we look to close this out. So five minutes on the clock and it's an eight-point deficit. Arab United are looking and they're going to have to really dance their arm here. And uh, looks like we're going to extra time on field two. So extra time in field uh, two. We'll just... Uh, here we go. So they're going to try and go out to the right Oh, Anderson. It would have been just the gate, but unfortunately, just couldn't get hold of it. That would have been the game. Come on, come on, come on. This is just about. Oh, well. I was going to say that this isn't last chance to win, but it is very close. And then they bundled into touch. So now it's all to do for Arab United. They've had a massive carnival. How often do you see it too? And then just uh, they run into, I knew with these two sides coming together, it was going to be a, a massive one. And you can see over on field two as well, we've got uh, locked up going extra time. Oh, well, apologies to all the Arabian fighter supporters today. Oh, it's, uh, and uh, back to Ado and Carlin. I'm, I've been all on you the whole time, boys. I'm with you. Rock solid. Three minutes, 14 seconds on the clock. The Warriors, they lead by eight. They will go into the big dance. And they desperately need to get a hold of the ball here. Wyanga no Mosby. Oh, I tell you what, if he'd have got a shoot of that, they'll race to try and get this. But uh, I don't know if there'll be enough time to score, convert, and get back to the kickoff. Louis. Sam Powell. Taking the ground there now as they work back to the middle. And, uh, Tibau Stephen taking the ground 40 metres out. The clock just against them now. And... Uh, Oh, solid hit. That's just, a good defense, but the defense has been good all DeAndre day. Louis trying to marshal some support here to get something going, but he just can't find it. Julian Christian taking the ground. Well, and Uda. Two minutes left on the clock. On the last, United must score here. And they just about... And it. again... The Thugger Warriors have come up big in defence again. It's a scoreless second half. A scoreless second half for Arab United. Because the Warriors' defence was well, they've been so solid. And that's what wins games. Defence, goal line defence. They have been brilliant. They go into the final and they are major contenders. I well. think they've they could win if they produce that game. You know that extra time over there is going to sap a lot out of the boys having to go the extra minutes. Now, these fellas here, they, it's just their defense is what I've been really. The scramble, too, because they ha they've had to do it from their own line. We saw a period there where it was six, seven minutes. 
that they had to defend their own line. So, so well, the Warriors will go into the final. But uh, we, we certainly like to uh, send our gratitudes to Arab United. They For have sure. been fantastic to watch they this weekend. Well, and what a great fan base. They've oh. been out the front end with the flags. They travel, oh, they follow yeah. them wherever they go. It's been exciting. They've really lit it up for the fans. And everyone following um, back at home through the Torres Strait, through Cairns as well, following along at home, you can be super proud of your boys this weekend. They've just run into a, a red hot dugger Warriors side who were just, they just the dug deep. The side in the second half. United were in the game. Yeah. Get ready for this. Get ready for this as uh, down to our left, they're about to erupt. And there it is. They're through. Thugger Warriors all the way from Saibai, just short of PNG, are through to the grand final. Well, the screen's up in the Torres Strait. Well, they would have been plenty tuned in there with both of these sides. But for the grand final, I tell you what, Telstra are going to be doing some work and getting some extra satellites over the top because they're going to be following their boys into this grand final. So, Rob, what a great, we've got an exhibition match coming up. We do. And I'll be back to call the action with myself. With our, where our grand finals will commence, we, we will have our grand final matchups commencing at 3 o'clock. So, the, so that is the Dolphins take on... Yep, so in the uh, Townsville University Hospital Women's Shield, Burdekin Delta Dolphins. And it looks like they might have just progressed in the men's as well. But the Burdekin Delta Dolphins will be taking on the Eastern Warriors in the Townsville University Hospital it's Women's Shield. John. There's a lot of cheering with the Dolphins. Let's Will it be a Dolphins Warriors final? Yeah, just. That'll be bigger, the Dolphins get in. They've already got one in. The girls are in the 3 o'clock final. If they can get the men in, that's a big weekend for the Burdekin show. And it is. It, it is. looks... So the Burdekin have two in the final. They've got they have. women's at 3 o'clock, and now the men have just won an extra time, and they will take all the Well, players. I'll tell you what. Everybody from here to Brandon to Air to Home Hill, they'll be tuning in, swinging from the rafters. Well, I'll tell you what, if you want to car park in uh, the Burdekin, you'll be you'll be right this afternoon because everyone will be gathered around their smart TVs watching on for the action. Follow us along here. You can tune in now for our exhibition match and then follow us along for all our grand finals commencing at 3 p.m. Right, 